What's up guys? Today I got a really super special video. I've been wanting to shoot this one for quite a while. Y'all see this is a big, brand new, super shiny Mac Tools truck. This one belongs to Mr. Jeremy Cox. You guys have seen him on the channel, but this is a brand spanking new truck. Like this one, the tires have still got the tits on them. Brand spanking new beautiful Mac Tools truck. So let's take a look and see what Jeremy's got. Come on. Buddy, I'm gonna tell you something. A lot of people may not think this, but when you walk on a tool truck and that floor is this clean, <laughs> you know you're in for a treat. Well, Clay, sure. first of all, welcome to the Bluegrass State. I finally got you up here. It's probably been, what, about a year, year and a half? Yeah, a long and time. got you here. I will have to confess, though, I know we was talking about this a little while ago, but the floor, Monday night is the one night I do get to check the clean <laughs> truck up a little bit, so. Let's check back again on Friday and see what it looks like. I'll send you a picture. We'll go from there. Well, guys, uh, y'all may not know this, but the whole reason why Michael Boone even comes to my shop is because Jeremy Cox. Um, <clears throat> way back before we even started doing the Mac videos, me and Jeremy had talked a little bit. He was thinking about becoming a tool dealer. And we just shot the breeze on Instagram yeah. and stuff. And um, he's like, you need to start doing a video with your Mac guy. I'm like, don't got one. <sighs> Well, he won't come to the shop. <laughs> so Jeremy went out of his way to make it happen with Mac Daddy, and he's also the one that got Dan, the RBRT guy, to come up there the first time when we shot the video with Dan. So me and Jeremy's known each other for a long time, and I've been wanting to come up here and shoot a video with Jeremy for a long time, and he got a brand new truck. And It's always a good reason. He's like, hey, man, got a brand new truck. <laughs> so here we are. So before we get started licking and drooling and licking mm -hmm. and slobbering all over everything, <laughs> tell everybody your phone number and what areas you cover. Okay. So if you're in the central Kentucky area, you'll find me in Lexington, uh, Nicholasville, Danville, and Lancaster. Um, you can reach me at area code 859-652-9841. Be glad to try to help you out. If it's not specifically my area, I might not. I might know who's close to it and get you hooked up, but just reach out to me. And another thing, I always have guys reaching out to me like, hey man, I want to buy stuff from a tool dealer, but I don't work at a shop. Right. So if a guy doesn't work at a shop, obviously he's not going to get a truck account because you have no way to track him hey, down. Exactly. But let's say if a guy, <clears throat> you know, maybe he works at Walmart, but he just likes quality right. tools. Got so he wants to come meet you and buy a pair of Nipex and... One of the Mac ratchets. I tell you, the number one thing to remember, tool guys are in business to make money. We love it. So get a hold of us. We'll be glad to meet up with you. I have several customers that do meet up with me. And they meet up with me. And some of them are big fans of yours. Uh, one was wanting to try to come up tonight, but he had prior commitments. <laughs> so uh, um, I do meet up with them several, several times in a week. Cool. So. Well, I have stood two feet in front of the door. <laughs> and I do have to admit, What's that? this is probably the coolest power. Do you like that? Yeah, I do. Because most of them's got them all jammed up in the little wooden rack and you mm -hmm. can't see them good. I like the way that you can see all of these. Yeah. It's clean, classy, it looks good. Gives you a chance to see what's available. Um, there's well, other like power tools available too as well. that you can compare the sizes, like mm -hmm. from here to here, you know, how long it is. And in our 12 volt versus 20 volt lines, you know. Recently, we came out with this new twenty or new twelve volt line that everybody thinks. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, you got a four hundred foot pound breakaway tool I'll and it's twelve volt. Yeah. yeah, it is, and I'll show you one more trick too that it'll do. Guess what? Batteries. You got to remember who uh, owns the wall, right? Right. Mm -hmm. You can do them on both. So. Well, yeah. see, I have a lot of guys, and mm -hmm. I'm, I've talked to my Mac guy about this, but it's almost like nobody wants to say it. 
What's up? I know there's differences between the Mac and the DeWalt impact. So can you shoot us straight on what the differences are in them? Yellow and black, it sells to lots of people, right? Mm -hmm. But the one thing about what's on a tool truck, whether you're getting a red tool or whether you're getting a yellow tool, understand we're going to pick the tools that's going to last the best. Mm -hmm. We're going to see you every week. The last thing we want is a failure. Right. So if you get a yellow tool off of your Mac guy or you get a red tool off of your Mac guy, he or she is watching what performs the best. He or she is going to make sure that when they reach over and hand you this tool, that when we come back the following week, you're still as excited about it as you ever was. Mm -hmm. I always tell all of my customers, if I sell you this gun, if I sell you this gun or a long barrel air hammer, if the next week I come back and you're not just as excited, I'm going to take the tool away from you. Yeah. And they always look at me real funny. I said, there has to be something wrong with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so remember, your tool guy is picking out the right tools for you because they do not want to have you disappointed. And a lot of times have those conversations with your tool guys and say, hey, you know what? I still really want to air impact, but you know what? It seems like everybody in the shop is not really having a lot of luck with their air tools. Mm. I had a customer. He had this tool right here, Clay. This one oh, yeah, here is supposed cool. to have 1,400 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. He comes up to me and says, you know what? When I was at my other shop, it worked great. I go in there Airlines and the little smaller. nipple fitting is yep. about, uh, about that big right yep. there. I'm like, uh, Merle, uh, let's, let's switch you out here. Let's see what happens. Right. Switched it out. And he's like, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Have those conversations, whether you're talking about battery, whether you're talking about air. Well, see, I heard that it knowledge. was like a, the red was more chemical resistant or something like. There is. I mean, the, the chemical resistance in the red, but when this was developed, that same technology now had went into this particular line here. You'll notice this is the first time DeWalt had a battery that's actually encased right, in the bottom. Right. In all reality, it's my belief that probably a couple weeks before or a couple months before this was getting ready to be launched, there's so much red influence in the engineering here, it was probably going to be red. But mm -hmm. as we all know, during the COVID experience, manpower got limited, and a lot of those efforts kind of got streamlined within the Mac group. And this is one of those examples where they got streamlined and the consumer series is really getting a pro grade developed tool and that's what they're getting in this one 400 foot pounds of breakaway in a 12 volt that's and pro it's series. Light. that's what i like yeah. about it it's super light. light super light and everybody's like oh i'd buy the milwaukee stubby yeah if you want to pick your freaking batteries up off the floor every time you turn around i Hi. got some diehard milwaukee fans and i, I love got that one impact in a guy's hand and he is now yellow and red this red not the milwaukee yep. red so, it don't take long after you pick them batteries mm -hmm. up and they bounce across the floor like a <laughs> basketball. Man, you got a lot of hammers. I got a few. I got a few hammer specials on here. My ceiling's um, full. They ain't no telling what your ceiling weighs. That seems like I say talk that. about weight on this truck, okay? That seems we, like I say that a lot. <laughs> but you got a lot of tools hanging from this ceiling. Like, this is nice. Yeah, let's don't start opening drawers because you're going to find a lot more. Wow. You know, it's a hard balance, and right now this truck has probably got less tools on it than what it usually does. And I say that because... Really? Like, you carry some big impact sockets. Yeah, you need big ones none too, of, right? None of our guys carry this big. Well, there's some doubles, and, and I got wow. more of them down here when those sell out. And the other thing is, you'll know behind you there, there's GP sockets. You know, mm -hmm. you and I was having that conversation GP earlier. GP sockets are fabulous. Yeah, they have a lifetime warranty, but... You have a guy starting out, I would love to be able to take and say, hey, why don't you spend $95 and get your shallows and deeps? Mm -hmm. I can sell you the five, $600 set when you're ready for it, but this is a heck of a way to get started. Yep. So what is the deal with these last chance deals? So some of our last promos, based on the inventory that I have, what I'll do is give guys an opportunity to grab some of those last promos. Oh, so when it's not on sale, yours is still on sale as long as you got it. If I've ordered enough or I've had a lot of the back orders come in, I'll try to pass those savings on along. Um, yeah, there's some amount of inventory I'll hold back for regular stock and regular mm -hmm. use, but I order quite a bit. I make sure I always got what I need. Because the one thing about it, if you come on a tool truck, you don't want me to tell you, I need that, but <laughs> I'll wait two or three weeks for you to order it. Yeah. Come on. We, we don't need to be that. ordering on tool trucks. Like, honestly, I'd rather pay more and have it now as I have 
to wait on it. I, I don't know. And I think most guys are that way. I'm that way. You know, I'm, I'm extremely... I may not need it today. Maybe it was on the job I did last week, but I had to borrow the tool to get it done. But my tool truck shows up on Friday. Well, I want it then. Mm. I don't want to have to wait two weeks. Yeah, you want it when you want it's it. It's just the way I am. It's stupid, but that's the way it is. It's, it's that way for everybody. <laughs> it's that way for everybody. Man, you have got a ton of tools on this thing. And like I say, right now, this last weekend, I've actually kind of went and tried to lean some things out just to be a little bit more... I'll just say DOT friendly. <clears throat> oh yeah, well, you got to deal with the you got to deal with the way stations up here. <laughs> there, there's one or two. Man, you got a lot of stuff on here. The idea that we had in these shelves when we designed this truck was, I could put metric stuff in here, mm -hmm. put the standard stuff over there, electrical stuff over here. So when a guy comes on here and he goes shopping, he's able to kind of at least kind of get a glance at where it's at. Generally, this truck is laid out. They come in, whatever's on promotion is up here. Mm -hmm. With the exception, you've seen the last chance shelf that I used back there. Right. They have that opportunity as well. The rest of the truck is kind of standardized for where it's at. There's some common storage areas, but for the most part, most of your eye level and your bottom level is going to stay kind of consistent. And then, of course, you got everything in the world in the <laughs> ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> I don't you know if there's a weight that. limit on my ceiling, but... I'm sure it is. That's a cool kit, that multi-trailer tester. So, Clay, is there anything different you see about this truck? Well, the first thing I noticed is when I come on here, it's like it didn't look like every other Mack truck. Like every other Mack truck in the world, all the impacts is up here. Uh-huh. And it's always the same stuff, you know. Like you can go on a Mack truck in California, or you can go on a Mack truck in New Mexico, or you can go in Mississippi, and they all pretty much look the same. And uh, yours is completely different. Like, <clears throat> the first thing I noticed when I walked up here was you had the NOCOs. And I love those GB, like the GB70s, stuff like that. And those yep. are the new ones. Those are the GBX ones. Right. None of my tool guys has got them. So that's a brand new product that's... They're that's highly popular there. right now. I mean, yes, the old-time fashions, I call them the suitcase jump starters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're great. I, we got them here as well. But so many guys say, you know what? I don't have room for all that. I don't want to be carrying all that around. So this is what they need. But the other cool thing that I see is you've got price tags. Mm -hmm. I really like that because everybody's <laughs> got that in their mind with their okay with spending or, mm -hmm. you know, like right there. You know, I would have said the GBX 75, you mm -hmm. got it for 370, mm -hmm. you know, Honestly, I would have thought that would have been three seventy-five because I'm going by the price of the GB seventy, what it normally is on tool right. trucks. And when I seen that, I thought his is cheaper than what I'm normally seeing. So, so I've always thought a couple things on that. You're going to have a budget. Mm -hmm. I can't change your budget with all the features and benefits in the world that I can right. tell you. That can work two ways. It could be, oh, this is out of my budget. Or just as you mentioned, oh, wait a minute, that is still in my budget. Mm -hmm. Maybe today is the day for this. Right. Hey, how often do you get these? And there's that conversation, <laughs> yeah. you know, do I need to get it today? Is it going to be gone? Well, one thing about my truck is even if I run out, I got Oh, more. look at there. <laughs> you got a whole drawer full of them. <laughs> I guess I start opening drawers, there's more <laughs> of them. Um, so I think it works out good. I think it works out good. You know, and I'm sure some guys are going to be like, hell, I don't know, that turned me off. It don't, I like it, because, like, when I look here, mm -hmm. like, dude, it sucks to have to, you know, as a customer, you always feel like you're kind of putting your dealer out when you say, hey, man, how much is this, mm -hmm. or how much is this, or how much is this, you know, and when you got it labeled like that, I don't know, I like yeah. it, personally, I do. Don't get me wrong, I spend a lot of time doing it. I really, really do, but... I'll tell you what had happened. I'd had my truck set up with all the prices on it, and it come time, there was a price increase that happened not too long after I got started with Mac. So I went through and I'd taken all the labels and stuff off of what was on the truck. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to be like every other tool truck out there. And the experience, I bet that didn't work well with your customers, no, did it? No, it didn't at all. Because you done spoiled them. Done spoiled them for one, and it actually got to where on that fourth day of sales, basically just falling completely off, I parked this truck on the side of the road, spent the next three hours pricing mm. everything that I could possibly get priced, took off back down the road, and that afternoon, sales came right back up. 
they got I think used guys to. would do better by pricing it too, you know, because like here's the thing: not everything's set in stone. Like I'm sure if this says three sixty nine, mm -hmm. and I'm like, hey Jeremy, three fifty cash right now, will you take it? I'd say, what about three sixty seven? You know what I mean? Like nothing's set in stone. Just because yeah. the guy's got it priced, it's yeah. You know, it's not. That's what it is. But now one thing I did notice, and you don't hardly ever see <laughs> this. $180 down, $60 a week for 50 weeks, 0% interest. Yep. So you're toting the note. I'm toting the note. And I'm putting it out there. 0% for, interest. I put it out there. So when you walk on here and say, man, I want this maximizer cart. What's it going to cost me? Can you terms. afford 180 down today and $60 right. a week? Exactly. That's, that's I like that. <laughs> like, I don't even need a roll cart. And you almost got me. Like, I'm... I'm like, I'm like, hmm. I think we can get you a, a, what you all got those little trailers, Clay. Oh, uh, like that's what I'm saying. Like that's the too. that's the point of pricing. Like it made that right. impulse by kick in right there, and I'm mm -hmm. like, I could use a maximizer roll cart. Like mm -hmm. that's what hit me in the brain. You're right sitting there thinking, you got a purple one, Jeremy? Is there another door back here in this truck for like another one? Sixty dollars a week. I, I can do that. Yeah. So, man, you got a great truck. Like I love it. It's very nice, well organized, clean. A lot of tools comes through this truck every week. I imagine. A lot of tools. I got very a bunch nice. of great customers. Hopefully uh, they feel the same way about me. We try to keep them taken care of. Um, and they definitely have taken really good care of me. Um, so I'm what's in my third the, year now and they've already. What's the deal on this one? It's 192 down. Yeah, this one sells about $200 more. Um, it's got all the uh, striving for breast mm -hmm. cancer awareness month. Part of that uh, upcharge, of course, as well, goes to the breast, breast cancer, cancer foundation. foundations as well. Um, so it's just a tiny bit more for this one. Well, still a great card. Great card. I like the pink myself. I do too. I think it's cool. <laughs> yeah. Any guy that says he's too manly for pink, he really needs to check himself. <laughs> exactly. Like everybody loves the tatas. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> don't forget, we got this one. Thing. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good right there. You're the one brought it up, Clay. Like, I like this. This is a great kit, mm -hmm. and it's got a price on it. Yep. Yeah, I think my guys would sell more tools by having them priced. I really do. Yeah. I like it. There's a couple other guys in our district um, that does the same thing and have the same experience. Um, they firmly believe it. Mm -hmm. Even the one I'm thinking of, Dan, his truck, even his ratchets, He's got the mini pearl tags hanging down. Yeah. Um, I think as long as I didn't, you know, look in the rearview mirror driving down the road and see all these tags floating, it's bad enough. The tool's sitting here rocking back and forth <laughs> without mini pearl flags everywhere. Well, I know when I rode with Michael, when I shot the day in the life of a Mac guy, at one shop, there's probably eight guys on that truck. Yeah. And there's always the guy in the back. He's like, hey, man, what's the price? All these guys is up here eating jerky, yeah. shooting the crap with each other. The engine's and roaring. this guy's trying to get a price on something. Exactly. And Michael's trying to weave between them. I, it just makes sense. It does. It just makes sense. It does. It does. So, well, you guys get up with Jeremy and buy some tools if you're in central Kentucky. We can definitely hook you up. Or if you're coming through Kentucky and you're working on a job site or you're working on a crew. Like, hey, if you got money, the man's got tools. Exactly. Right? That's, that's all I can say, you know. <laughs> so, all right, tell everybody your phone number one more time. One more time. It is area code 859-652-9841. Reach out to me and let me see if I can help you. There you go. Like always, guys, thank y'all for hanging out with us. Jeremy did an awesome job. He's definitely not camera shy. This is like <laughs> the, I don't know, third video or something. It's pretty good. So... <laughs> All right, guys, like always, hit that thumbs up. Give Jeremy some love in the comments. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. You guys have a great week. Catch you later.